come leve che vola ok hello oh Women lay, we could roll up. Um. Hi guys, how are you today? On this lovely, on this lovely Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday. I hope that everybody is good, and I hope that everybody's having a great, fantabulous week so far. My hair is crazy. This is this is my hair just right out of the shower, so I'm like, I don't really like it. Ugh. Ugh. Sorry. Okay. Hi, guys. Try to do a British accent. I don't really know how to do a British accent. I'm not so good at it. You want to hear something really sad, though? This, this phone case I've had since the second I got... Ah, this is disgusting. Sorry. My phone has makeup all over. Sorry, one second. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but I've had this phone for probably like a couple months now. I don't know exactly how long. Um, can you he can you see me and hear me? Some people are saying they can't see or hear me. So type if you can see me slash hear me. Say yes if you can. Perfect. Okay, we got a lot of yeses. Okay, so. That means that you guys can see and hear me. That's always good, but um, basically what I was saying was this phone, I've had it for a really long time and I love it. It's the 6 and I really do like the 6. A lot of people don't like it for some reason, but I like it a lot. So this, sorry, it's so gross. This, um, this case I've had since like the second I got this phone because it's protected my phone so well. And last night I dropped it and the whole bottom broke. See all that broke off? And now it really hurts when I hold it. Like whenever I hold it. Someone said I love your nails. I had to get, I got these nails done for a photo shoot that I did re recently. They did them on set. And they're so long. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't usually get them this long. They're re And look how chipped they are. You guys are going to be so gross. So basically one day they did like a black and red and then the next day they did plain red and they just painted right over it so the top layer is all peeling off look how gross this is see like how it's under underneath there's other color polish it's so gross i have to get them redone but it's disgusting anyway so i'm gonna i'm gonna um start to answer some questions i pulled a few from twitter that i saw earlier today because I thought they were just like good, smart questions that I felt like I should answer. So yeah. First one is what is what was my favorite part of the Billboard Music Awards? Honestly, I love the new Taylor Swift video. Say yes if you guys have put a thumbs up if you guys have seen the video and you like it. Put a thumbs down if you didn't see the video. And I don't think no one I don't think anyone does not like that video. That video is amazing. Honestly, like I haven't watched a ton of Taylor Swift music videos because um, I just haven't seen a lot of them just because I don't really watch a lot of music videos unless it's an artist that I'm like obsessed with. So I haven't really seen an, another Taylor Swift video other than this one until the billboards and I was, I've always loved Taylor Swift because she's such a huge role model and she's so classy and so beautiful and so elegant and always can make speeches so well. She's just really inspiring to me and I think that she's amazing. Um, so when they played the video I was like, like, this is Taylor Swift. She looks so hot, and, like, everyone in it looks amazing. I'm obsessed with Zendaya, so I think that, like, I was just, like, screaming when I saw her. So 
yeah, basically, I love that video. It's my favorite music video right now. And, of course, the Feeling Myself video just came out, which, of course, is one of my favorites as well. But I was just really, like, shocked at the Taylor Swift video because, she like, she, she used to be, like, a country singer who was, like, cute and stuff. You know, now she's, like, this sexy, like, pop singer who I just think is amazing how she can transform herself, like, so flawlessly and just make herself, like, what she wants to be. And she's amazing. I love her a lot. And... That video is my favorite thing right now. So that was probably my one of my favorite parts of the billboards. I also loved uh, Nicki Minaj's performance because I love Nicki Minaj. And Ed Sheeran, Tori Kelly, everyone was amazing. And I was actually sitting right in front of where Tori Kelly performed. So I was just like screaming all the lyrics to her song. And she's amazing. And I love her so much. Um, yeah, Nicki does slay. Nicki is Queen B, seriously, I love her, except for Queen B herself, but Nikki is definitely up there. Um, so yeah, that was one of my favorite parts of the billboards. How was walking the carpet? Walking the carpet was a lot of fun. Um, I walked the carpet with all the boys, as a lot of you guys probably know, and it was it was cool being able to walk with them because I've never really seen them in that element all together, and it's really nice to see them all be back together again. It's really sweet. Um, so I like obviously was like, you guys take your photos together. I'm not going to get in all these because... I want you guys to, like, this is so cute. They're all, like, back together, you know. So I was really excited for them to have gotten that opportunity to walk the carpet all together. So it was fun being able to see them all do that. Um, opinion on Carter's baby. What? What happened to Carter? Carter has a baby? <laughs> Carter's dog died. What? Winnie? That's his name, Winnie. No, what? Dog is so cute. Stop. Why did it die? <gasps> Stop it. I need to text him. That is so sad. Oh my god. That's really sad. Honestly, that is so sad. That's really sad. Carter's not even a close friend of mine, guys, but like, you still should just like reach out to people like. Some people are like, I see some people saying, like, Carter's, <laughs> why'd he die? I don't know, why'd he die? Don't die. But you guys are saying, like, um, you guys are saying, like, why are you texting Carter? You're not even friends with him. I'm not close friends with Carter, but I still just, like, I'm here for him. Like, that's really sad. I didn't even know that. That's really upsetting. Guys, please give love to Carter. That's really sad. You, you would want people to give you love if your dog passed away. Anyway. Back to the billboards. They were amazing. They were so much fun. And seriously, like, I've never been to an event like that. And it was really so, 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 so much fun. Like, seriously, so much fun. Um, uh, okay, I'm, I have more. Sorry, I have more questions in my notes. And I, I need to, I need to read them. Jack says hi, everybody. They say hi back. He can't hear me, but I will tell him that you guys say hi back. Okay, so the next questions. Favorite three. Hi, Jack. I'm going to say everyone says hi. <laughs> favorite three songs at the moment. I have a ton of favorite songs. Here, I'm going to say. It's this. It's so I love her, like that, that noise, so pleasant. And Miley's voice is so good also, like, what? Like, I don't get how they, how do they sing like this? Like, I love their voices, especially together. They're amazing. Like, I love Miley's, like, raspiness. And Ariana's, like, godliness. I just, I can't. Like the, hey, no. Like, that's so good. Like, that's so good. Hey, now, hey, now. Dream it's over. 
over. Hey now. Hey now. Hey now. If you haven't seen it, please, 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 please go um, watch it on YouTube because it's amazing. Seriously. Hey now, hey now, don't dream it's over. Hey now, hey now. Last vacation I took, I went to... I went to Las Vegas this weekend, so I mean, I guess that counts as a... Hello? Dolphins are good. <laughs> what was It's not, it's not Jack. There was something behind you. Stop saying that. Don't even say that. Twisty. I hate you, God. Oh my God. Why are you? I'm gonna cry. Stop. I actually heard something. I heard a bang. I'm home alone. Seriously, I'm freaking out. I'm actually freaking out. I'm really scared. What the? Motion is destruction. Shut up. Stop. 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 If you die, you're on camera. It's cool. What? Whoa. 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 I heard a bang. You heard that bang? There was a. I'm sitting here. Are you pranking us? I wish. I really do. I'm. I'm trying not to be scared. I'm just trying to be calm and collected. I'm really nervous. Like, what is that? Is that my dog? Zeppelin! He's not here. Like, guys, I'm freaking out right now. I heard a bang. Like, that doesn't just happen. The house just doesn't, like, bang. Whatever. Okay. I'll, I'll be, I'll live. Honestly, I'll think I'll live. Whoo! I'm like. It's me. I'm gonna call the police. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so scared. Oh my god, I keep seeing things. Oh my god. Please save yourself. I can't save my camp. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. This was like unfriended. Why did you push me? Why? Why? Ah, I'm so scared. Shh, okay, I'm trying to breathe just a little bit. Hey now, hey now, don't, this is gonna make me say that. Don't dream it's over. Hey now, hey now, don't dream it's over. Hey now, hey now, don't dream it's over. <laughs> Hey now, hey now. What the fuck is behind you? Don't say that. Don't say that. Nothing's behind me. I'm scared. I see in the camera that nothing's behind me. What if someone just starts walking like here? Like it's like. What just happened? My phone just vibrated. <laughs> My phone just vibrated and I just almost started crying. Oh my god, that was really scary. Okay. <laughs> okay.
Okay, I'm alive. Hey now, hey now, don't dream it so far. Hey now, hey now. Okay, I'm just trying to breathe, I'm fine. I'm genuinely really scared. Like, I'm, who is that on the couch? No one is on the couch. I'm not moving my body right now. I'm so scared to move my body. Is someone really sitting on the couch? Stop, stop, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my god, I can't move. No one's there, no one's there. What if I move and someone's sitting there? No one's there, no one's there. I'm fine, I'm home. All right, shh, okay, I'm done reading. I'm done reading these, <laughs> these comments. Okay, anyway, there's someone sitting by the computer. No, there's not, no, there's not, no, there's not, no, there's not, shh, shh. Mm. I tossed my ex to the door. You guys are mean. You guys are so mean to me. Stop. We're done with this. We're done with this. I'm answering questions. This is what the purpose of this you now is. We're answering questions. Done. Done. Shh. I'm done. Shh. No more. So those are two songs that I'm obsessed with. Ariana's and Miley's song. Um, and Drake, Jungle. And I also love the song Runaway. This one. But this is a remix. It's fine, if I get killed, I'll just party with the killer and then he can kill me. Stop saying behind me. I don't like this. I don't like it. The stairs. I'm turning this away. Stop. I'm done with you guys. You guys are so, like, seriously scaring me. It just hurts me again. It just hurts. What if there's someone on the ceiling just, like, spidey? Don't do it. Spidey. All right. I'm over it, guys. I'm over it. Tell me you just heard that. Just tell me you heard that. I want you guys to tell me that you heard that. It's really low. So like, I don't know if you just heard that, but like I'm sitting here, I can't possibly be making that noise and no one is home. Like nobody is home. I'm over it. I'm not gonna keep doing this. I'm not gonna keep wasting time looking for people because I'm scared. I think I'm gonna go in my room because this is a little this is a little much for me. I'm a little, a little scared. <laughs> I'm really scared, guys. What is this link that someone just put in this chat? I'm scared to click this. Oh, it's the Dream, dream It's Over link. Okay, I'm gonna go in my room. Should I go in my room? Yeah, I'm, I'm scared, so I'm gonna go in my room. I don't like this. I just don't, I just don't like it.
I'm not even going to read these comments because I know you guys are about to be like, someone's behind you. No. Oh, guys, I have this really cool thing in my house. That's a candy bowl like this. See? It's so good. And let's breathe. Oh, okay. Jack seriously eats every single one of these whenever he comes to my house. So if you ever meet Jack, buy him Chewy Sprees. That's what these are called. He eats them every, he eats all of them. So if you ever, if you ever have a chance to meet him, buy Chewy Sprees. And seriously, he will be so grateful. Like, he will be the happiest person. They're so good. I'm just going to take a few upstairs. Dude, I just saw a shadow. Seriously. Oh my god, I don't like it. I'm going to say something. Hello? Roger, this is you. Stop, please. I'm seriously scared. I don't like it. Please stop, please. Oh my god, I'm going to cry. Guys, I'm so scared. Look at what I have in my hallway. Something is falling in. Right. Have you tried Greek food? No, I haven't. Uh, actually, yeah, I have. It's actually really good. <laughs> yeah, for real. I got so beyond scared. Describe your fans with, in one word. Um, beautiful and amazing and lovely and cute and sexy and hysterical and amazing. Was that? That was not good, but, but it still worked, you know. I'm sitting on the floor, just so you guys know. Because some people are like, where are you? I'm sitting on the floor. Okay. You and I. You and I. <clears throat> if you could change your name, what would you choose? I don't know. I don't, it's a hard one. I like boys' names for girls, like Cody, Ryan, like all that kind of stuff. I like that, so... Probably, probably would be Cody. I like Cody with a K. So if your name is Cody with a K, you're doing it right. Your parents are doing it right, at least. Um. You and I, you and I. Um, okay, so... Let's see what other questions we can find. Type in on a Twitter, Ask Madison, and I will be looking at that. <laughs> Lisa said, I'm laughing so hard. Guys, I'm so sorry that I was just doing that. Like, <laughs> I was just scared. Do you guys want me to um, call people? But do not type your, your uh, numbers in here. If anything, type them on Twitter.
I love you, Valentina. Tatiana, if you're watching this, I love you. I'm going to call you back, okay? Um, anywho. If I had to pronounce my name, Mad Madison. Aixa. 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 It's definitely Aixa. What else could it be? You said a call, you'd call Anika and you haven't. Let's call Anika. Featuring Wilkes. Send direct message. Let's find her phone number. Where is your phone number? I don't know if Madison knows. Nika, if you're watching this, text send me your thing on your number on um Oh guys I've tried to call Anika before but she lives in another country I think so she, I can't it won't it doesn't work. Okay, so put in your type in your phone number using hashtag ask Madison and write your number and actually do hashtag call me Madison and and ask Madison. Hashtag call me Madison. Hashtag ask Madison. And I will call you. Start with ask Madison because that's what I'm going to be looking at. All right. First caller. Let's try not to leak this girl's number. <laughs> Free, free, bless my soul. One of my guy friends always says that. Bless my soul. Yeah, yeah. Bless the pleading of your phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Alyssa. Hello. Hi, Alyssa. <laughs> Hi. Hi, oh my god, this is a dream. This cannot be happening right now. You are so cute. How are you? I'm good. I was just watching the broadcast when you said my name was like, is she talking about me? <laughs> You're like, wait, my, me, Alyssa? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, you. You're so cute. I was like looking at the Ask Madison thing and I was like, okay, she's cute. Let me call her. I was about to type it in again and then when you said my name, I was like, She's talking about me. What the heck? <laughs> yes, I am talking about you. So wait, I've been how? I've you since you first started, uh, like, first, or er, first, whenever you started, like, singing and stuff. I've Aww. been watching your videos and everything, and I'm your tradition. I've been singing since you came out. Like, you inspired me so much, and I just love you. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. I'm Bessie. That's why I do this, is so I can inspire people to follow their dreams, because it's an important thing. And you gotta always know that being. Do you make YouTube videos or do you like post them or perform anywhere ever? I, I uh, post YouTube videos, but I haven't been posting lately because no one's been like looking at them. So I just like don't even post anything. Like I don't. So something that I want, I always try to tell people who post YouTube videos and perform and stuff. Like if you're putting yourself out in a public thing like that, you have to always remember that there's always going to be people who don't like you and people who don't think you're a good singer and stuff like that, because I deal with that every single day in my life, and if you're posting YouTube videos, I'm sure you're going to as well. No matter who you are, no matter how good you are, like there are always people who are going to try and bring you down, and you always need to remember that it's a lot of the time out of jealousy because you're doing what you love and you're pursuing your dreams, and a lot of people don't have the confidence to be able to do that, so you have to just be proud of yourself that you're like doing what you love and posting YouTube videos, and who cares if no one's watching them, I'll watch them. So you should start posting them, and I'll go watch one of your YouTube videos. Oh my god, thank you. Um, yeah, I was just sitting here, and I'm like, when you just announced it, I was like, eh, should I put my number, or should I just wait? And then I'm like, nah, I'll just do it. And then when I did it, I was like, no, if she's calling me, it's gonna, I'm gonna die inside. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad that I got to talk to you because you are so sweet. And what's your, what's your YouTube video so I can tell everyone to call? Um, it's, I use my name on there, Alyssa and Salato. How do you spell that? Um, I-N-S-A-L-A-C-O. 
I N S. Wait, wait, one second. Wait, A L Y S S A. Yep. I N S A S A L A L A C O C O. The one that I want you to look at, it's not just a picture with me, it's a picture with me um, doing a heart. Okay, I'll watch that one. I have two accounts, so, um. Okay, and, uh, I'm gonna. I'll just comment a heart in your thing, so I'll probably comment a few because it's going really fast. Okay. Mine is Alyssa Worley, um, level 25. Okay, wait, so. Okay, wait, sorry, I'm trying to find this YouTube channel. Um. If I were a boy? Yeah. Okay. That's my bad, that's my bad one, but you can watch that one. Oh, my God. No, it's probably not bad at all. I'll go watch it. All right, Alyssa, I love you so much, and I am really glad that I got to speak to you. And I hope you have a beautiful day because you are beautiful, and hope you're smiling. I'm, like, shaking right now, actually. <laughs> you, when we hang up, I'm probably going to cry. Oh, my God. You're going to cry. You're so cute. You are the sweetest person, and I'm going to follow you on Twitter right now. Okay, Russ? Okay, babe. All right. Love Bye, you, I love you, too. Bye. Bye. Oh, she is so sweet. Um, That was this girl named Alyssa. And she seems like she's got a cute little boyfriend in her Instagram, in her Twitter bio, in her Twitter uh, picture. So she's very sweet, very cute. Um, So... Um, okay, so I'm going to keep calling a few people. Guys, you know how scared I was, I was before? I was petrified, seriously. Call a member of One Direction. I don't have anybody from One Direction. So I'm like... Um, so, everyone's saying, sorry, wait one second, call member from Five Sauce. I don't have anyone from Five Sauce's number either. I don't know those boys. I don't know the One Direction boys. Um, but, I'm trying to think who I can call. Guys, my hair is so out of control. What are some of your favorite quotes somebody said? So I have a bunch of quotes that I have like liked on Tumblr. So I'm going to, I'll read some of them for you guys. Just some more like. Oh, actually, this is good. I have a question thing. So I'm going to answer some of these. I'm probably going to skip a lot of them because some of them are like inappropriate or some of them are just like, I just don't have the answer to like when's, like what would you do in college last week? Like I don't go to college, like whatever. So I'm going to answer these questions because I bet a lot of these consider with you guys as well. What would you name your your future daughter? I told you guys like, I love girls' names for guys. Guys' names for girls. So, like, probably Cody, probably, like, something like that. I love the name Kendall also. I always love that name. I think it's a really pretty name. Do you miss anyone? Um, yes, I miss my old karate teacher, Lisa, who passed away from cancer. And I miss her so much. I also miss my grandpa who passed away recently. And my grandpa is really sad. And they were married for a long time. And yeah, and he's really sad. He misses him a lot also. So yeah, we're all really sad because his name is Andy. My grandpa's name is Marty. They were married and he just passed away, Andy. So it's really sad. And I definitely miss him so much. Someone said, is your grandpa gay? Yeah, he is, and he was married to a man for, I think, like, over 20 years or something like that, so they were, like, really in love, and it's really sad, and I miss him so much, and I hope he's in a better place, and I know he's in a better place.
What are you looking forward to in the next week? I'm looking forward to getting back in the studio with Justin because I'm really excited to make this song that we started a while ago and finish it up because I would really love to release it and put it out there. Did you go out or stay in last night? I stayed in because I just got home from Las Vegas and I am exhausted. I was exhausted, so I am gonna probably go to sleep. How late did you stay up last night? Probably till like 12, 12.30. Honestly, okay. What are you? What were you doing at 12.30 this afternoon? I'm um, probably sitting on my phone on Tumblr. Have you ever told somebody you loved them and not actually meant it? No. No. Could you go for the rest of your life without drinking alcohol? Yes. Have you pretend, Have you ever pretended to like somebody? Like in what way? Like a friend, a boyfriend, this or that? Uh, I don't really know what that means. Is there one person in your life that can always make you smile? Yes. Is it hard for you to get over somebody? I've never really had to get over somebody. I So I don't, I don't really know um, because I've never had a breakup before. Is Think back five months ago. Were you single? Yeah, let's skip that question. Have you ever cried from being so mad? Yes. I have cried from being really mad. I've cried from being, like, really upset. Like, I, I'm, I am very sensitive. A lot of people don't know that I'm really sensitive, and I cry really easily all the time. Like, so I'm... I like I cry so easily all the time um but I think crying is good like I, I think crying is like a good thing I think it's healthy so but I don't know um yeah say if you cry if you're sensitive say yes if you're not sensitive say no so yeah let me know Yeah, see, a lot of people are sensitive. I'm super sensitive. Okay. Um, is there somebody who makes you more upset than anybody and makes you also more happy than anybody? Yes. Because, you know, like, the person who you love the most, like, they make you so ha more ha happier than anyone, but they also make you, like, more sad than anyone. You guys should answer these questions with me. So whatever I say, just answer also. Um, hold hands with anyone this week? Yes. Who did you last see in person? My brother. What is the last thing you said out loud? That. <laughs> Have you ever been to Paris? No, I haven't ever been to Paris. I would love to go there. Are you good at hiding your feelings? It depends what my feelings are about. Um, usually, yeah, because if I'm upset about like hate or something like that, then I'm really good at um, hiding it. Have you ever been bullied? Yeah, of course. I think that everyone's been through like a certain amount of bullying before. Do you use chapstick? I do. I just use Vaseline, though, so I don't know. Are you listening to music right now? No, I'm not. What is something you currently want right now? Frozen yogurt. How is your heart lately? My heart is happy and healthy and... beating. <laughs> Do you wear the hood on your hoodie? Depends. So, mm, depends, yeah. When was the last time a member of the opposite sex hugged you? Um, last night when I was saying goodbye to everybody when we left from Vegas. What do people call you? Mad. I love when people call me mad when people are like, hey, mad, like, what's up? I love that. I don't know why. I think it's, like, so, I, I think it's cute. I don't know. I just like when people call me mad. Have you ever wanted to tell someone something but you didn't? Of course, I think that everyone's done that before. Are there any stressful situations in your life? Um, yeah, try, um, trying to find the perfect song to release for you guys is pretty stressful because I want to just put out every song that I record, but I really do want it to be perfect. What is wrong with you right now? Um, nothing really. I'm pretty happy. I love doing this stuff because I love talking to all my beautiful, lovely fans. Love really is a beautiful thing, huh? Sure is. Do you make wishes at 11-11? Not usually, but I always, I usually try to take snapshots of 11-11. What's on your wrist right now? Just a bracelet. What is on your fingers right now? 
three rings. Can you name every piece of jewelry that somebody got for you? Yeah. Um, my grandma got me this. My necklace. My aunt got me this, I believe. Um, the first ring, my dad, my grandma got me. The second ring, Jack got me. And this ring, my dad got me. My grandma got me, actually. Actually, did my dad? I think my dad got me the gold one. Where did you get this shirt you're wearing? I got this from Brandy Melville because Brandy Melville is really great. Um, have you hugged someone within the last week? Yes. I also give a lot of hugs to people. Like, I give so many hugs. Every person I meet, I'm just like, can I have a hug? I just love giving hugs to people. So if you ever meet me, just ask me for a hug, and I will so happily say yes because I love hugs. What were you doing at midnight last night? Probably sitting on my phone on Tumblr. Do you miss the, the way things were six months ago? No, I love the way things are today. I've come closer with the people that I was close with six months ago, and I've learned a lot in the past six months. Would you rather sleep in a bed with somebody or alone? I like sleepovers. Like, I love sleepovers. So I think probably in a bed with somebody because when I'm alone, I just get scared. As you guys saw, like, ten minutes ago, I, I get really, really scared a lot of the time. Have you ever been to New York? Born and raised, baby. Think of the last person who said, I love you to you. Do you think they meant it? Yes, I do. I do think they meant it. Um, yeah, so that is... Those were the questions. I'm going to try and find more because those are fun because a lot of questions I feel like were asked by people. So, I'm trying to find some questions. I don't have an Ask FM. Some people are saying, What's your Ask FM? I don't have one, and I've seen a lot of people try and like pretend that they're me on there. Can you clear up some of the rumors that are made about you? Um, honestly, I don't really feel the need to do that because a lot of them are just so made up that it's insane that people actually believe them because there's no proof behind things. And, like, nowadays you can look up anything and find the truth and stuff. And it's just crazy to me that so many people are like, oh, she did this, she did that. But it's like... I didn't though and you could very easily like google and be like la 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 enter and like see like there's no proof behind things so how could you just believe something like if I said to you right now that like oh like I don't know but I'm just I don't know I'm just saying okay I'm gonna answer more questions is there any food in your bedroom I don't believe so no there's no food in my bedroom if you know anybody who has road rage, I have pretty bad road rage. <laughs> How expensive is too expensive for a pair of shoes? Um, I don't know. It depends what the shoes are. How far away do your parents, grandparents live from you? My grandma and my grandpa both have passed away spouses. So my grandpa's husband passed away recently, and they live in Florida. And then my grandmother's husband passed away recently, and she lives in New York. They both live alone. How sad is that? That's so sad. Why don't they just move in together? <laughs> my mom's dad is the one who lives in Florida, and my dad's mom is the one who lives in New York. What kind of cereal is in your cupboard? Um, Cheerios, Lucky Charms, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and... What are those things called? Someone tell me what those little things tricks, 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 tricks. Do you know who the person who lives three houses down from you? I have no idea who lives three <laughs> houses down from me. I probably should because I would love, I love my neighbors and stuff because I know the person who lives across the street and another person who lives one next to me, but that's basically it. What's your favorite fruit? Mangoes are for sure in the top three, but that's the one that comes to my head. What's the last thing you spent over $10 on gas from my car? Over $30 on? Um, I think when we, when we were driving back from Vegas and we went to the, st the shop, I got like 
a bag of Doritos, I got Reese's, I got a Hershey bar, I got Cheetos, I got like everything in the entire store. What's her Tumblr? My Tumblr is madisonbeer.tumblr.com and I suggest you follow me. Guys, oh my god, I hate when my nose is itchy. Do you ever do that and you just have to go like that? I hate that. And my nose gets red. Is there a bulletin board in your room? There's like, I have, should I go get my stuff that's like memories? I'm gonna, say if I should get some stuff that are memories and I could show you guys like a bunch of stuff. Someone said you are very ugly. Thank you so much. That's really nice of you to come into a live chat and say to somebody like, why do people do that? Like just live your life. Stop being mean. Jesus. Um, okay. I'm not, I'm gonna go get it and see what I have in this little book of, book of tricks. I don't know where it is. Would somebody move it? I think someone moved it because it was usually in there. So. Somebody moved my little memory book. What? This is a ripoff. Wait, where did this thing go? I just have no idea. This is crazy. Where did it go? Oh my gosh, somebody touched my memory book. This is crazy. Where is it? Guys, I don't know where it is. This is so, this is bad. But anyway, whatever, I'll try and find it. But I did find this one thing that is actually I'm obsessed with. And it is a letter from, oh, sorry. Okay. It is this book that I've seriously, I've never loved anything more. This is, like, one of my favorite things. This is book that just, like, all these people. Look at this, guys. I seriously have probably read this 10,000 times. Like, look at this drawing of me. These are all different girls. Taylor and Eden. Here, I'm going to shout all of these people out for it in this, in this beautiful book. Taylin from Madison Beer Updates and Eden from Team Bieber Beer. Madison, I love you so much. Thank you for always being here for your fans from Madison Beer Ginger. Fab Beer on Instagram. Imaginer Latina on Instagram. Tens and Jason on Instagram. It's sure underscore XO. Deluxe Madison, Madison Beer Daily, Adorable underscore Madison, Madison is Bay okay. Oh my gosh, Emma! She's KMS Galinsky. I love this girl. She is the sweetest person ever. Seriously, I love you, Emma, if you're watching this. And, oh, this is all. This, is, this was for my birthday, just so you guys know. They all got me this. Um, Yuval underscore Murad. Um, I can't pronounce this, but it's B H A V I S H A dot X V I on Instagram. Love Madison Albier on Instagram. Um, Madison B A B E A B R. Madison's Takis. Madison Beer's My Sunshine. Madison dot bitches. Oh, this is all falling out. Beers hug on Instagram. Sorry, I'm trying to make this to not fall out. Madison Beer fandom, Madison Beer squad, Lucy Wilson, Kid Ross, Kate, Kayla, hi. You're not Sammy Wilk, M X Disson dot Beer, Mad Beer underscore X O X. Hey, that was my old username on Instagram. Adrian Limiton, Matia Sternberg, Madison Beer Fun Facts, Madison's Beer, 305-199, Smile Madison Every Day, 
Oh my god, you guys are so cute. Nadia, five seconds of summer. Madison Beer, my idol. And there's a ton more, but those are just half of you guys that are just amazing, beautiful people. And I just wanted to shout you guys out because you are my life and I read that book all the time. So I just wanted to tweet that out because you guys are seriously amazing. I'm going to tweet this link on my Twitter one more time. Okay, so Okay. All right, I'm going to continue answering those questions that I started because they are funny and I like them a lot. My hair is so ratty, guys. See this? Like, what is this? Okay. Is your mom a big health freak? Yes, she is. <laughs> Easter or Halloween? Halloween. Do you know anyone who wants to be the president one day? I don't. I wish I did, though. That'd be really cool. What kind of chips are in your cupboard? Um, I think, like, Lay's. Do you have your mom or dad's hair? I have my mom's hair for sure, but um, my dad's bald, so <laughs> maybe I have my dad's hair and I just don't know. Do you prefer the truth even if it's harsh? Honestly, not all the time. Like, sometimes I'd rather somebody be like, this happened, but, they, you know, like, or, like, I do prefer the truth, but not in a harsh way. Like, if the truth is something that's harsh, I'd rather it be said in, like, a, like a sugar-coated way, but still, like, you know. Okay, have you ever skipped history class? I don't like history. It's my least favorite subject. If you were going out with your celebrity crush, what would you wear? I don't really have a celebrity crush. Do you have any friends who have naturally red hair? Yes, I do. I have one. Have you ever cried when a teacher retired? Um, yes. What was her name? Miss Andrews in kindergarten. She was the best teacher. She moved to Florida. It was really depressing. Does your kitchen look like it was designed in a completely different deca? No, it actually doesn't. When's the last time you wore heels? This weekend on the billboard red carpets. Do you have your mom or dad's eyes? I think I have more of my dad's eyes because my mom's are brown and mine are like pretty green, if you could see that. They're like greenish kind of hazel. Um, how long has your current best friend been your best friend? Um, like a year. Have your parents ever been out of the country? Um, yeah, I've been out of the country and so have my parents. Are you older than the last person you laughed with? No. How many pairs? Actually, yes, my brother is the last person I laughed with, so I am older. Um. Hi, Mad. Hi, Thomas. Do you... Swear and yell while you play video games. <laughs> when I play Grand Theft Auto, yeah. Um, would you ever name your daughter Andrea or Eva? My middle name is L, and I've always kind of loved the name Eva. So, yeah, honestly, I probably would. If you had to get up at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, would it be painful? Depends what I was doing, where I was going. If I had to just, like, go to school at 6 a.m., it would obviously be annoying, but it wouldn't be painful because I could just roll out of bed and go in sweatpants. But if I was going to, like, a meeting and I had to get up and get ready... Have have you ever seen the last person you watched TV with drunk? Who's the last person I watched TV with? My brother, and no, he's 12. <laughs> if you were adopted, would you want to know? Yeah, I would. I definitely would want to know because I think that, um, I don't know, I think I just, want, want, I just think I would want to. You guys, guys, please answer these questions as I'm answering them. So type your answers also because I want to see what you guys have to say. Do you know anyone who has grossly skinny eyebrows? Um, no, mine are 
grossly thick. <laughs> no, I actually like my eyebrows. People always like, get your eyebrows done, but I don't know. I think they're, they make me me, so. Has a best friend ever ditched you for a girlfriend or boyfriend? Um, no, because not none of my friends really have boyfriends. Would you rather get a new brother or sister? Um, a new sister, because I don't have a sister, so I want a sister. Do you have Do you have anything in your room that you've had for ten years or more? Yes, I have two things in my room that I've had for ten years or more, which are my two stuffed animals that are on my bed at all times because I've had them since I was a baby. Do your pets chase after bugs? No, they don't. Would you ever kiss the last person who messaged you on Facebook, S M S MSN or iMessage? Who's the last person who messaged me? My dad. So, I mean, I would kiss him because he's my dad, but I wouldn't, like, kiss him, kiss him. <laughs> like, but, so, no. But, yeah, like, you kiss your parents, but. Dude, I don't know. That's a weird question. <laughs> you can always have that. Do you eat at home or in restaurants more? I eat in restaurants no more, I think. Yeah. Just because my mom's not the best cook in the world. When's the last time you were so excited? But I love you, Mom. I do. When's the last time you were so excited you couldn't sleep and why? Um, probably the day before my birthday just because I was really excited to turn 16 because I just think that's a cool age. Um, if your best friend's birthday was next week, what would you get them? I don't know. Now, what's your mom's favorite movie? My mom's favorite movie is Splash, and if you haven't seen it, you should, and that is where I got my name from, because the mermaid in the movie, her name is Madison. What do you think people would say, what TV character do you think people would say you relate most to? I think a lot of people would say that I relate the most to Alex Russo, because I have, like, a, like the personality, like, so much like her, um, like, seriously, so many people say that. Um, I think it's really funny, and I like that. I think it's a compliment, because she's got a dope personality. Do you have any relatives who really spoil you? Yeah, my grandma, definitely. Are there any drawers in your house that are just filled with junk? No, because my mom is a major neat freak. Is the last person you spoke to in love? Um, my dad? Yeah. How far away is Chicago from where you live? I don't know. You know anyone who always looks perfect and who? Um, my mom. She always looks perfect. Do you know anyone who has security cameras in their house? Me. Do you think Zac Efron is really that good looking? I do think Zac Efron is that good looking. What was the last movie that that made you cry? Furious 7. I was bawling my ass out. Has anyone you know ever pulled the fire alarm in school joking around? No. What time do you usually go to sleep at sleepovers, if you ever do? Um, not that late, because I don't really like staying up that late. I get really tired. So probably like 2 or 3, like not crazy, crazy late. What's the latest you've ever stayed up? Probably like 6 a.m. Who was the main character in the last book you read? Um, I read the last book I read was, 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 The Great Gatsby. Is the last person you've said goodbye to single? Um, who did I last say goodbye to? My friend Stoss. Yeah, she's single. Um, who are the last people you saw kiss? Hmm. The last people I saw kiss. I'm going to skip that one because I don't know. Have you ever posted a fan fiction on a website? No. I have not. Those things kind of freak me out. Sorry. I don't know. It's just like, e. Ah, I don't know. Do you, ever, do you ever fantasize about your future wedding? Yeah, I do. All of the time. Seriously. Like, I always am like, oh my god, I'm going to get married here. I'm going to get married there. Wear this, wear that. What was the last unpleasant thing to wake up, to wake you up? Um, I don't know. Do you have ever have any friends who are always kissing their boyfriend or girlfriend? No, because I really seriously don't can't think of like a friend who has a boyfriend or girlfriend. Would you rather look at clouds or stars? Stars. If you could trade appearances with the last person you hugged, would you? 
depends for like how long. For a day, yeah, probably I would. Do you have any relatives who are expecting a baby really soon? No, but I have a cousin whose wedding is really soon. Do you ever wonder what the opposite sex do at sleepovers? I think they do the exact same thing, but just talk about like boy stuff. When you get married, who will be the maid of honor slash best man? Um, the maid of honor will probably, I don't know, because, like, by then I could have a different best friend and stuff, so I seriously have no idea. Do you like Fifth Harmony? I do love Fifth Harmony, and I saw those girls, like, two nights ago, and we all got a photo together, and it's really, really nice. When's the last time you broke plans and why? Um, I don't remember. Seriously, I don't really break plans that often. Do you know someone who's constantly texting? Does that annoy you? Yeah, I do know someone who's always on their phone, and it really annoys me because, I don't know, I think that everyone's like, put their phones down. Like, I'm actually rarely on my phone. It's only when I'm, like, not doing anything, but I'm usually busy, so I'm really rarely on my phone. Um, does it matter to you what kind of shampoo you use? No, not really. Okay. I'm going to find some. Should I answer more questions and find some more on Google? Say yes or no. Okay. I got a lot of yeses. Ooh, would you guys rather me answer questions or do would you rather or do would you rather? Write a W for would you rather and write a Q for questions. Would you rather? Okay, I'm going to do the would you rather. And then I'll do questions after. I'll do more questions. Okay. Would you rather go about your normal day naked or fall asleep for a year? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I would probably rather... I don't know, because that's really, falling asleep for a year, like, you you guys should answer what you guys would do also. If falling asleep for a year, you would miss a lot of things, like, seriously. So, I that one, I seriously don't, I don't have an answer to that one. Would you rather be gossiped about or never talked about at all? Never talked about at all. Would you rather be hairy all over or completely bald? Um... I don't know, probably hairy, because, like, I, I, I like, I like long hair. And, I mean, bald is actually a really nice look. I think, like, some people rock the bald look. Would you rather be happy for eight hours a day and poor or sad for eight hours a day and rich? Honestly, be poor and happy because, like, your happiness is... I mean, but it's only eight hours of the day, so it's, like... But you're only really awake for, like, 12 or 14, so that's, like, half of your day that you're awake. Um... Honestly, I don't know, because, like, your happiness is important, but if you think about eight hours, like, that's not that much time, so. Probably be happy for eight hours a day and poor, because I'd rather be happy than live in a mansion. <laughs> Would you rather be rich and ugly or poor and good-looking? That's stupid. Would you rather be stranded on an island alone or with someone you hate? With someone I hate, because then hopefully I can grow to like them. Would you rather eat poison ivy or a handful of bumblebees? A po poison ivy for sure because bumblebees scare me. What's scarier? Would you rather? What's scarier? Would you rather step in a basket full of snakes or a basket full of spiders? A basket? I don't know. I don't know. That's disgusting. I don't want to think about that. I don't want to think about that. I don't want to think about that. I'm, I'm petrified of snakes, so honestly, probably spiders. But thinking about putting my foot in a basket full of spiders makes me want to die. That's really, really scary. Would you rather find true love or $10 million? True love. Would you rather end hunger or end hatred? I think end hatred because then when if you end, like, hatred and stuff, like, that would probably lead to ending hunger because people would want to, like, share and love and, like, give and stuff like that. Um... 
Would you rather forget who you were or who everyone else was? Probably rather forget who I was because then everyone else could like bring my memory back. Would you rather get caught singing in the mirror or spying on your crush? Singing in the mirror. Would you rather make headlines for sh saving somebody's life or winning a Nobel Prize for saving somebody's life? Would you rather meet an alien visitor or travel to outer, outer space? Travel to outer space? For sure. Would you rather never use the internet again or never watch TV again? Mm, mm, never use... Ah! Oh my! Never watch TV again. Would you rather not be able to use your phone or your email? Your email, for sure. Would you rather only be able to whisper or only be able to shout? Oh my gosh. Imagine so much being like, hey, like, let's go get some coffee. And people would be like, lower your voice. It's like, I can't, dude. I can't. Like, it's not possible. That would be really annoying. But also if you were like, what? That would annoy me. I don't know. Yeah, sorry for the headphone users. I love you. Sorry. I'm really sorry that I screamed. Um, would you rather be, would you rather all on a ski lodge or a surf camp? Probably a ski lodge, that's really cool. Would you rather have, ew, that's disgusting, <laughs> that's so gross. I'm not even going to read that. That's gross. Would you rather throw up every time? Okay, I'm not reading that either. Would you rather... Oh my god, this is so... Ew! Uh, ew! That's yucky. <laughs> Listen to this. Would you rather smell like... Ew, I can't even say this out loud. Would you rather smell like a fart all the time for the rest of your life? <laughs> or drink a diarrhea milkshake? Oh my god. Oh my god. Seriously, why did I say that? That's so disgusting! Ew! Ew! I don't know! Ew! 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 I don't know! Someone just say Jadison is a PR stunt? Okay, I don't even know what that means, and that's so ignorant, and that doesn't exist. That doesn't happen in real life, so please don't say that. But seriously, that's disgusting, and I'm about to vomit. That's really gross. Someone said... Fart? <laughs> Someone said I'd rather smell like a fart you can <laughs> use for a few. <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> that is very funny, honestly. <laughs> That's so funny. Um. <laughs> oh my. Would you rather be single for the rest of your life or marry somebody who you hated and not be able to get divorced? Um, I don't know. I don't know. That's hard. Probably be single. But I don't know. You and Jack are my parents. Adopt me, please. <laughs> You guys are so funny. I seriously love you. Um, why do you always copy Kylie Jenner? Somebody said. Um, I actually think it's really funny when people say that I copy Kylie Jenner a lot because I genuinely don't copy her. It's more of like I think that she has really cool style and I think that she has like a cool look to her and I'm inspired by her outfits and her nails and this and that. Like it's don't pretend like you don't like take inspiration from people. So I hate when people say that. It's like she inspires my style and she inspires things like. I, I like to inspire people, and, like, I think she's probably flattered that she gets to inspire people as well. So it's, like, that's not a bad thing. So stop, like, hating on people who take something. So it's, like, it's just, I don't know. I think that's really annoying. So are you going to any shows over the summer? I don't know. I might go to Digitour New York. I don't, I'm not going to perform or anything, but I might go just to hang out with everybody and say hi to all you guys. Opinions on Gemily. Okay, seriously, I'm just going to say something right now. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, just disregard this. Gemily is so, I just don't get why people even say that because, like, they're best friends from Omaha, Nebraska. Like, they have literally been best friends since they were children. Like, imagine somebody, somebody telling you, like, 
oh, like, you and your, if you have a best friend to the guy, like, oh, you guys are, like, OTP, you'd be, like, what? Like, we're, no, we're best friends. Like, that's how they feel about it. So it's, like, why do people keep trying to say that? They've never been a couple. They never will be a couple. They are best friends. Like, I have guy best friends that I would just never date. Like, whatever. So, yeah, let's move on. So please just stop saying that because it's just, it's just, like, a waste of your time and it's just, hi, KMS Blinsky. I just shouted you out uh, a minute ago. See, somebody said it's weird because I have a guy best friend. Like, yeah, because, like, that's weird. If you think about that, you're like, no. Like, that's, you know, so it's just, I don't know. I think that it's just not, like, I'm not, like, I don't know. You guys can think whatever you want. Like, you guys can, you guys can, like, ship them. You guys could do whatever you want. It's, that's seriously your opinions. That I'm, but I'm just saying, like, I just don't, I just think it's, like, it's annoying how people try and, like, put that on me and they're, like, Jemily's better than Jadison, but it's like, I don't, okay, great, thank you, I'm glad that you think that, but it's like, just keep your negative opinions to yourself, that's just what I always say, it's like, if you have nothing nice to say, then don't say it at all, put yourself in my position, put yourself in other people's positions, and like, live your life, be happy, life is so short, like, you're gonna look back one day and be like, why did I spend so much time, like, being rude to this girl who I don't even know, who did nothing but, like, make my idol happy. Like, why? Like, seriously, it's ridiculous. But that's what I honestly always say because I think that positivity is really important. And just, like, just spread positivity. Like, just be happy. That's the only way you're going to be happier within yourself is if you put your phone down and stop focusing on negativity. Like, Especially, like, a relationship. Like, don't look past a relationship and, like, give hate on it. Like, really? Like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I'm not going to change everyone's minds and opinions on things because I don't have the power to do that and just brainwash everyone and be like, you cannot be hateful anymore. Because that's, I can't do that. But I just think that everyone should just be positive. And somebody just said, if you can't take the hate, you shouldn't be in the music industry. But obviously, I can take the hate. If I couldn't take the hate, I would have discarded my Twitter and taken my Instagram off years ago and I would have I wouldn't be doing a you now right now knowing that I'm gonna get hate like I want to do that stuff because like someone just said I hope Jack leaves you like that's that's just not nice like people are just mean and like it's just a sad sad thing to see especially really young people like being mean so it's like if you've ever been mean to somebody or been mean to me or given hate to somebody just like think to yourself and be like like, what am I doing? Like, seriously. Like, just be nice. Just be a nice person. Like, I've learned that, and I learned that a long time ago, that, like, positivity and kindness will seriously get you so much further in life than being, like, rude. It's just, and keep your opinions to yourself. If you don't have something nice to say then just don't say it someone said you've never been mean to somebody I didn't say I've never been mean to somebody and I just said to you that I've realized a long time ago that it's that's not the way that you should be of course when I was younger I was mean to people like everyone has to go through that and I get that people go through that so I'm not saying like you can never be negative because of course I've been like okay stop like I've been rude to people before obviously like yes I'm a, I'm a girl I'm a human being of course I snap at people sometimes but you have to be a positive person in general like there's, it's, there's a big difference between somebody, like, randomly, like, breaking and being, like, oh, like, annoyed at somebody, and there's something, and there's a difference between a positive person being, like, breaking and being annoyed at somebody. There's different, like, there's a difference between negative people and positive people. I'm a very positive person who completely, like, listens, to, like, I, I focus on positivity, and that's it. That's it. So, like, I don't know. Of course, like, I look at hate sometimes and stuff like that, but I'm not focusing on that. I just do it because, like, I'm a human being and I get upset over it. But I know it's like, sounds really contradicting, but, like, it's not. Like, I'm just being honest with you guys because I feel like I can be honest with you. And if someone just said I don't care. If you don't care, then why are you watching this? Like, I'm talking about something that I'm passionate about and something that I feel passionate about. Like, I love you guys and I want you to have the same exact mindset as I do because negativity will come into your life at some point if it's not already in your life and it'll it will take over your life if you let it affect you and you engage yourself in it and if you start acting like it so be yourself and be a happy person love the people who love you and seriously take advantage of every single moment because one day you are going to look back and wish that you had so just like please just keep that in mind whenever you're sad like life will throw things at you but you gotta just be able to 
swerve and dodge them, and then get right back on track because you guys are amazing. Like, and I don't want you to have to feel the way that I used to feel because I used to let all this stuff affect me, and I used to let hate affect me, and I used to let things people said get in my way, and I would cry and cry and be so upset, and then that would make me mad and it would make me snap at my parents or snap at my brother and snap at my friends and it would just make me annoyed all the time and me upset so once you once you put that foot in the door of negativity you're already you're already all the way in there like so step back and just take a breath and lock your phone sit just be like okay i'm better than this or if someone's being rude to you walk away just be like you know what Breathe. Someone just said nobody cares about me. That's not true. A lot of people care about you, especially me. Like I care about you. And I just I just don't I just hope that none of you guys have to feel the way that a lot of people try and make me feel. And I hope that you have the same mindset that I do because that's the reason I do this is so I can help other people overcome things and that I can inspire with my music and inspire like with my words and stuff and I just hope that I can do that for you guys because you seriously mean so much to me and I hope that you know that so that's it and that's all I had to say but I'm being bullied what do I do it depends what you're being bullied about, where you're being bullied, whether it's online, whether it's in person. So just seriously, like, just try to just brush it off. I know that's really hard to do, and I know stuff gets to people because you're a human being, and that's just how we are made, and that's how human nature is. But just stay strong and just realize that I love you and that you have a lot of people who love you even if in a moment you don't feel like it because whatever. And, like, I don't know. Someone said, somebody is spreading horrible rumors about me. What do I do? You ignore it. And if anyone asks you if it's true, just tell the truth and say no. And if it's a rumor, it'll die down. And it'll, people will soon realize one day that it's not true. Because, I don't know. I just think that rumors will be rumors. And they will fly around about anybody, whether you're in a school, whether you're on Twitter, whether you're anywhere. So just keep your head up and don't let that stuff affect you because it's it's easy to let it affect you. And I just don't, I don't know. I just hate to see you guys upset. And I hate to see you guys say that you're depressed or say that you're being bullied. And just, just I don't know, I just hate it. So... I don't know. I just don't ever want you guys to be to be sad or anything because I get sad a lot and I'm sure you guys do too and I just want everyone to be able to be here for each other and I wish the world was like that more. I wish there was like more people that were like, hey, I'm here for you. I'm not gonna, when you're down, I'm not about to go tell you that you're a slut or that you're ugly or that you're fat or that you're this or that you're that. They're gonna say, hey, I'm here for you and I will be here for you no matter what. And I hope that you guys know whether I'm on Twitter or on my phone or online or I'm 8,000 miles away from you. I am always here for you guys no matter what. And if you are in a moment of desperation, you're in a moment of sadness and darkness and you're just not happy, like, I'm here for you. Because I've always, like, you know, I just, there were times that I was always like, I wish someone was here for me. So I just hope that all of you know that I'm here for you. And now that I've grown, I know that all of you are here for me. So I love you so much. And like, just seriously remember that you are so special and you are amazing. And there's nobody in the world who is like you. And all you negative people out there, I hope in the future one day that you can be positive and that you can love yourself and you could spread kindness to people and that you could you know just be happy because I'm wishing you well because 
I genuinely feel bad for people who have to go to that level of like being mean to somebody else so just love yourself and give love to other people and always remember who you are and how to be positive so that's all I had to say about that um I'm gonna stop before I start crying because I'll probably start crying if I keep going so I'm gonna do a few more of these would you rathers and then I'm gonna probably hop off but I'm glad that I got that out because I like to talk to you guys about that kind of stuff whenever I do you now because you guys are really amazing people like this is this is what helps me whenever I'm upset like you guys this is this is my life this is like everything to me like this book yeah but I mean like you guys in general like certainly are everything to me and I hope that you really know that um all right let me get back to this <laughs> all righty would you rather be born with an elephant trunk or a giraffe neck I think a giraffe neck um would you rather be forgotten or hatefully remembered forgotten because that's just sad um would you rather have a beautiful house and an ugly car an ugly house and a beautiful car yes. um, Sorry, I'm back. Um, sorry, 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 sorry. Um, would you rather have a missing finger or an extra toe? Probably an extra toe because you don't really see your feet that much. Would you rather have one wish granted today or three wishes granted in 10 years? I probably have one wish granted today, and my one wish would be to have 10 wishes over the next 10 years. Would you rather have x-ray vision or bionic hearing? Probably x-ray vision. That's really cool. Um, all right, guys. I'm going to answer more questions. And then I'm going to sign up. I'm going to do one more round. Oh, my God, it's so bad. Okay. Given the choice of anyone in the world, who would you rather, who would you want as a dinner guest, Rihanna? Before making a phone call, do you ever rehearse what you're going to say? Um, sometimes. If I'm, like, in a fight with somebody and I'm like, okay, I have to call them and talk to them, then I'll, like, probably... Um, do what I have to say. You guys can't hear me? Ah! <laughs> Should I make Snapchats? I'm gonna make Snapchats and then I'm gonna sign off. Do, 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 do.
no, 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 no. Gotcha. Wow. <laughs> My Snapchat is W H O S M B. So please don't stop this, please don't stop this. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Guys, this is my Snapchat. So please don't stop this, please don't stop this. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, someone said sing for a little bit now. Snapchat. Snapchat. So I might be on you now. Oh. So I might be on you now. All right, I'm gonna post something on my Snapchat so that you guys can. Can you not hear me? Someone said they can't hear me. Guys, please everybody go send Carter some love because he's really upset right now about his dog and I think that everyone should just be here for him and I feel really bad so I just want you guys to all just send him love. It's the way. Someone said, "What happens, Carter? Carter's little dog passed away, which is really, really sad because it was really young and like it's really sad. So just he's really upset right now. So just give him some love, guys. It's the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you made me feel inside. It's in your Someone said, what is your, someone said, what is your honest opinion of Jamily? I told you guys, I said this already once, but um, 
I don't really have an opinion on it. Like, there's no opinion. It's just they're just best friends. So it's like, I don't, I don't know. There's no really opinion. They're just friends. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, do you like Greece? No, I have never been to Greece. Not no, but I'm saying like I've never been to Greece. I love Greece though. It's probably one of the most beautiful places in the entire world. So I would love, love, love to go there. Love. Seriously. Do you love your fans? I love my fans more than anything in the entire world. Seriously. Like, you guys are my favorite people ever and you're amazing. Have you ever been to Canada? No, I have never been to Canada, but I would love to go to Canada. Why do you look sad? Um, I don't know. I just, uh, just, just thinking. Um. I think I'll the 10th person in your call log. Someone said, hey, I gained a lot of respect for you today. Thank you, that's really sweet of you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Jack J. New. <laughs> um... Yeah, you know, I like doing these you know, so I like for you guys to be able to get to know me a little bit better because I feel like I'm a misread a lot and I'm misunderstood a lot. So I like to do this so so you guys could like get to know me better and understand me because a lot of the Madison beer that people think they know doesn't even exist. So I I don't know. I just try to. Wait! Oh my gosh! Wait, am I stupid? Were you guys talk when you said Gemily, were you talking about Jack Johnson and Emily Tosta? Or were you talking about wait, what? I'm so confused right now. Cause somebody just said somebody just said Gemily is Jack Johnson and Emily Tosta. But I thought I thought Gemily was Emily Glazer and Jack G. And that's the people who I was talking about saying that they're just friends, because they are just friends. But people are saying Jack J and Emily T. I confuse now. <laughs> but, okay, anyway, but yeah, Jack G and Emily Glazer are just friends, and I don't even know what's up with Jack Johnson and Emily Toast. I have no idea what that, what that is. But, um, yeah, but somebody was just like, I just don't get that, so. Anyway, <laughs> either way, I don't really care. That's people's lives. Let them live. Let them live and be happy with who they're happy with either way. So, yes, I just kissed my arm. I always do that so much big. Because it's important to love yourself, you know. I can't wait to hold you in my arms. I know I was made for you. I'm in love with all of your charms. It's the way you look, the way you talk, the way you made me feel inside. Sing us a song. Okay, tell me what song you want me to sing. Call the 25th person in your call log. Okay. 
I'm going to keep this kind of fun. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 is no caller ID. Wow. Look at that. That is 25th person. I'm not kidding. 25th person right there. 25th. Look, I'll count again. 1, 2, one, two 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Wait, I lost count. <laughs> okay, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23, 24, 25 is no color ID. That's very funny. Um, okay. So, what song do you want me to sing? I will sing whatever you guys want me to. Nirvana. Oh, I love that song by Nirvana. Um, I'm so happy. Because today I found my friends. They're in my head. Um, so, that song's really good. Um, see you again. It's been a long day without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it. I've only listened to this song once. All about it when I see you again, when I see you again. How? Oh. I don't know that song. How? Nobody loves. Um, how does that song start? Um... Everybody's looking for that new thing, but no one really knows when it's right. Oh, I don't know song. Everybody's scared of going nowhere, yeah. but we ain't going anywhere tonight. I should be more cynical and tell myself it's not okay to feel this good when I'm with you. Try my best to fight it, say I hate you, but I always stay. Whoa, cause ain't nobody love, ain't nobody love like you do. Ain't nobody love, ain't nobody love like you do. Ain't nobody love, yeah, yeah. Um. Cause all of me loves all of you Love your curves and all your edges All your perfect imperfections Give your all to me I'll give my all to you You're my hand and my beginning Even when I lose I'm winning Cause I'll give you all of me and you give me all of you. Um, what other songs should I sing? Sorry, those other songs I sang, I didn't really know. Your Bruno Mars mashup. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I remember that. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Madison Beer, and I'm going to be doing a mashup melody sort of thing for Bruno Mars, and I hope you like it. All right, here we go. I said that so many times, so I, like, I'll never forget that. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Madison Beer, and I'm going to be doing a Bruno Mars... Uh, no. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Madison Beer, and I'm going to be doing a mashup melody sort of thing for Bruno Mars, and I hope you like it. All right, here we go. That's... That's my... <laughs> that's my intro. Um... Oh, yeah... I want to be a billionaire so bad Buy all of the things I never had Right? I want to be on the cover of Did I, did I change it there? Forbes magazine Buy the Oprah and the Queen Oh, every time I close my eyes I see my name in shining lights, yeah, a different city every night, oh, I, I swear, the world I'm better prepare for when I'm a billionaire, whoa, whoa, oh my gosh, I remember this, oh, if you're tough, so then you're
Tossing, tossing. <laughs> if you're tossing and you're turning and you just can't fall asleep, I'll be the light to guide you. And if you ever forget how much you really mean to me, oh, every day I will remind you, oh, to find out what you made of when we are called to help our friends in need. You can count on me like one, two, three, and I'll be there. I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, and you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Sing my way. Baby, won't you come my way? Got something I want to say. <sighs> I love that song. <laughs> You're the best mistake I've ever made. But we hold on. Hold on, babe. There's no part of going by the rules we take. But we hold on, hold on, babe. I guess time's wasting, tick tock and lip locking. How can we keep it? <laughs> um. We don't have to be ordinary. Na -na 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 -na. Sorry, I don't know the words. We don't have to be sorry, so baby, the life of the party. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I don't know the I don't know the words really. Alright guys, I'm going to get off in five minutes, exactly. Um, damn, people are so mean. Yeah, seriously, if you don't like me, then, like, why are you saying that? I just don't get people's thought process, but whatever. Um, people ask me to sing, so I sang something. Sorry, like, it's not, like, perfect to your, like, taste. Like, I was just singing for fun, like, sorry, it's not perfect. I'm doing me, okay? <laughs> um... Hey, baby doll. Hey, babe. Do you want or have any tattoos? No, I don't have, but I do want one on my finger. I don't know what I wanted to say, like, love or hi. <laughs> something funny. Something cute. But, all right, I'm... All right, I'm going to sign off because I just, yeah, I'm going to sign off. But I love you guys, and I will do another You Now really soon. And I'm glad that I see some people saying that I changed their minds and stuff because that makes me really happy because I love you a lot, and you are... Sorry, anyway, but, like, yeah, so I'm gonna sign off, but I really love you guys so much, and just always believe in yourself, and you will do great things in this world, and 
yeah, live your life to the fullest because you only got one. So, yeah. Focus on positivity and, yeah. And also, shout out to anybody who's in this, you know, who's giving me hate because you're still watching me, you know, so don't really understand your thought process at all. But um, to the people who are being nice and the people who are giving me love and give me love all the time, you are so special and you are such a good person and your parents raised you right. You are being a good person and I hope that you feel really good about yourself because you're amazing and I love you and yeah and I just hope that you really know that and whenever I'm sad I always like have you guys in mind and hopefully whenever you're sad you always have me in mind too so I love you and I am gonna do a follow spree on Twitter right now because you guys are the best and just wanted to give back the love to you that you give to me every day so yeah so keep your head up and I will too and go on my Twitter for the spell spree that's gonna start within the next minute or so so I love you